Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're gonna do a Yugoslavian startup. We're gonna start with research and it's a standard to industrial uh, land doctrine. And land doctrine, I prefer the superior firepower for Yugoslavia. They are maybe, if you're going down the communist route, I would say the Grand Battle Plan because of the defense you could get here in the north. But uh, if you wanna go down communist in the multiplayer at least, you should really get an ally, let's say Romania, Turkey, Greece, Czechoslovakia, Poland, something in this region you need, otherwise you're gonna just get slaughtered, so that's why I'm gonna show how we go down the western focus, because it's, you should probably have this uh, as your standard opener, unless uh, uh, some for specific reason you want to go down communist. I feel like the communist route is a bit stronger, actually, because just because of these two focuses here, because you just get rid of all the negative effects super easy compared to the uh, western focus. But uh, if you go down western focus, you can ally with Italy and Germany, which is uh, just stronger if you uh, have that option. Switch all of these units out for infantry and delete that ones. You can save the mountaineers if you want to, but I'll not do that because. It's too much effort. I can't be bothered in this video. But although I would actually recommend you do it and keep them on uh, either this Greek border here, the, this Bulgaria, Romania, or Austria. So just somewhere where there are mountains, depending on which side you're joining. In this, I'm going to be joining the Germans and the Italy. Though I'm not actually going to be switching to switch. So which what is called ideology because there's no reason to do it in the multiplayer because I'm not going to declare any wars if it's single player uh, you're playing and you want to play Yugoslavia uh, this is the production for construction it's important you go Slovenia and Croatia uh, not actually well now I just thought of it but, um, is it best to do Slovenia and Croatia I actually think we're not going to do that even though I'm gonna do Ser but I'm gonna do the Serbian thing. I'm gonna get bonuses for it. the thing is I'm gonna uh, go down and uh, puppet Croatia and I want to annex them as soon as possible and for that reason uh, I'm going to uh, Want to build factions in their space. So that's why I'm thinking I'm gonna avoid their Yeah, I'm gonna avoid it producing Factories on their space and I would recommend that actually instead of uh, just doing this uh, crush them, you establish a Banovian Croatia <laughs> thingy. And in terms of frontline, I have no idea, so I'll just garrison it all, because you need 17 units for it and I have 22, so it's it's all good and dandy. Yugoslav is one of the strongest nations in uh, Europe, actually, I feel like, and uh, they really start up with a lot of ne negative effects that contradict it. And I think that's cool, like, uh, you need to work around it, and that's why I'm going down the left side, because it's, it's more fun going down the left side here and trying to live, fix all your problems. Right side, it's so easy, you just rush down, the first thing you do is you rush down, pick this up, and then you rush down, pick this up. Uh, well, technically, no, you don't do that uh, specifically, rush, but uh, this is the first thing you do, then it's this you want to pick up, and uh, then you're done with the Soviet, that's the most important thing. For Western, it's a bit more fun, you have a lot more choices and stuff that different pay-ups. Like, uh, the banned Slovenian nationalist parties is stronger than limited self-government, but if you do if you, but if you but do limited self-government, you get the local militias, which is super good. So, it's like, it's more fun, you get more choices, and this choice is quite cool, political power or national unity. It's minor things, but still, I, I like it. And, uh, yeah, we don't really have a reason to do anything like our early game is just to get rid of all of these negative effects get our get a bigger army and join a side so i'm gonna try and join the germany here join germany uh, military launches cubes i see what military i didn't know it said gets event military launches coup i thought you just joined access either way i don't think you actually need to switch uh, ideology because I did a test run and then I didn't do it. I just got a bit scared now uh, So yeah, what's happening? I'm just gonna add you oh, Gonna add you here because I feel like it now we get the political power for that. We're just gonna use it to We're gonna use it for we don't need the men. We'll get the industrial concern as first pick quite a weird one I guess but uh, yeah for the second focus you were gonna do this double industrial 
we're just, it's not a big, uh, big like we lose one focus because we're not rushing, but at the same time we get this double industrial which is super super strong. Usually the first one is a one time bonus, but it, if it, and then it's like maybe you skip it, you can skip it. But it, because it's a two time and I'm gonna I'm really rushing the industrial early game, which I always do. I really feel like the double on these two is worth it. It uh, tends to pay out really really quick and uh, you get so so you get so so far ahead in terms of just raw factor output if you go down concentrated and because of my location and as you've seen in all of my on these four nation i've been going down concentrated it's just because of your location and if you're going down joining soviet i would recommend going down dispersed if you're going on germany you should absolutely go concentrated and that's it's the same sort of story with all of these except the, Czechoslovakia, I guess, but if Czechoslovakia joins um, Germany, and in my guide I defeated Germany as Czechoslovakia, so it's like hmm, that guide is a bit different than the rest. It's not a usual startup; it's more of a how to defeat Germany as Czechoslovakia, and it's not actually that hard. I've I figured out because Czechoslovakia is really strong, actually, which I didn't know, and they weren't strong before. Well, they were kind of strong, but now with a new update, they're really, really strong, and. Now that we have these factories, we're just gonna get as many, many factories as possible on the infantry. We need to get rid of the deficit, then maybe we'll pull, pull back a couple factories or so, but... Yeah, also we need to trade for steel. We don't need to trade. If this goes up to like 9 and something deficit, and you, you don't need to trade for the convoy at all. Because it's, it's, it's not necessary. So who cares about your convoys? I'm just building them because I don't need any boats at all. In terms of multiplayer, because Italy has uh, always, in all, basically in every single multiplayer, Germany, uh, what is it called, assigns a navy role to Italy. And uh, Italy is supposed to take care of that. Friendship with Italy. Good. And uh, Italy should, if, it, if it's a good Italy player, they are, should be able to defeat the Mediterranean fleet of allies and uh, have control of it but it's it's also down to a bit of luck because uh, there's a couple important places to take over you can say like Gibraltar, Suez Canal and uh, Bosporus I guess is kind of important that that's the entrance to the Mediterranean which is Italy's uh, Mare Nostrum I guess you can say <laughs> the allies though they control the rest of sea I know sometimes they control the Mediterranean depending on what we focus on. If that's not... But, oh, that was kind of a long way of saying why I'm not building a navy and why I'm building convoys. It's just maybe I'll need convoys. Well, I will need convoys for training, guaranteed. So that's one reason, but... Maybe I'll need a naval sometime. I don't... I haven't decided. But it's not... <laughs> what do you mean I don't haven't decided? I'm never gonna need them because it's just a single player. Oh, well. Let's get... Let's continue. <laughs> okay, we're done with those. We'll continue down here, as you've seen here. Super good with the double speed here. Can I get Fierce here? Military Fierce, of course, he's super strong. Need that arm experience for it to switch out for two, two, two artillery here. Add another tank. Thought we had a reconnaissance, but we don't, so that's kind of sad. <laughs> Oh well, it doesn't really matter. These factories are soon actually finishing up, so we will need to construct them somewhere else. Mm, then the question is, what do we want to construct, actually? It depends. You could see us just gonna, uh, probably just going to construct more of these military factories. We don't really need more military factories, but... Well, we can kind of do. We're only producing 12 a day. And we're, ooh, shit. I thought we had a couple more here, like 3 or 4 already. Seems like we don't. Also, I, I'll just prepare this. I tend to favor... I really... us. I... Very small support equipment in the early game. And the later in the game you go, the more you add. So... When you're re in the mid game, you basically gonna... These are gonna switch around. You don't need much infantry later in the game. Oh, well. <laughs> it's just some random talk right now. Okay, what's happening in the world? National Spain. Cool. I think I have a historical focus on I can't actually remember. But it, but it should be. Should be good. 
So the worst one here is the Macedonian opposition. That's why I'm not picking stuff up here. It's so expensive. <laughs> the 25% extra really does make a huge difference. And um, yeah, you really want to get rid of this first, but you don't really have a choice in uh, what you get rid of first. You you just gotta do it in in the order it it uh, gives you or whatever. Also, you may wonder why I don't go down here. It uh, has the creation opposition, so you can't actually do it. I'm gonna go down limited self-government. You don't get rid of all of the uh, of, uh, efficiency growth <laughs> negative modifier, but uh, for composition, you get 2% manpower, and you get 1% down here, so it's 3%, which is really, really good. In, like, it will give you so, so much, man. I... In my test, I figured it gave me around 600,000 men to go down uh, these two these two here. So it's really, really worth it. Just do it. And uh, this needs great use, Lava. So we don't actually have a choice here. Concessions for Macedonia, remove it. We need to do it here. Yeah, that's... It is kind of sad. But this one... Ma well, maybe actually we don't do it. Yeah, I'd probably much rather just get rid of a Macedonian opposition, actually. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. That's much better. Getting rid of Macedonian opposition. The Greater Yugoslavia, like, who cares about claims here? It, and the event you get this, it doesn't do anything for you. Yeah, I tried it and uh, didn't get me shit. Actually, I should probably get... I'm actually thinking of getting that one. I'll get this now, because I really want this this one here to finish up, and I'll do a f f double time here, because it's stronger. This one is a lot stronger than this one, and uh, it's kind of sad, I guess, but... <laughs> it's really just uh, self-explanatory, I guess. The 15% factor output here, it's so, so, so good. And basically these factories, if I get five here, are going to be so much stronger. And these ones here, if they just <laughs> manage to get up to full cap, I, and they, they can't actually do that because I'm not trading for Tungsten. But I don't want to waste one factory for that. For now at least, I'm going to just save my civilian and build stuff instead. Just I have a couple civilians, 15, that's quite good. 15 factories. Would like to get up to partial. But I can't. I need 15% worth. 25. Yeah, 15. Yeah. It said 20. The Macedonian opposition down there. I thought that was for tension I needed. So now we get this concentrated 2 in double time. And when this one finishes up, I will go down concentrated 2 after it. Limited self government is done. And now you could pick up this local militia if you would like to. But. There's no reason to, I don't have any tr guns to put in new men, so I'll much rather get this political power. You could, I can see you going down with national unity, because I have really low, I, it will go up to 60 and then 70. But the thing is, I'm already at a really low, uh, 60, 60 is really, really low, and 70 is also really low. So it's it doesn't make a difference in my part, in my point of view. And uh, there's a guy here, popular figurehead, that gives 15. So let's say I'm 60, I go up to 75, and that's okay. If I'm at 70, I go up to 85. That's really good, yes. But still, this political power is, will help me so, so much more um, than uh, the national unity. In right now, at least, right now. Maybe in a, in a multiplayer, you could see this going down here. It really depends on your situation, though. What uh, if, let's say you're joining Soviet, I could see you going down uh, guaranteed religious liberties just because Hungary will always be against you. This and this will be uh, opponent territory. Bulgaria will probably join the Axis. Albania will be enemy territory. So you will always have enemies around you. The, the ones that may join you are Romania, Poland, Greece, Turkey. So like, you will have chance of some allies and you will need the national unity a bit more. So I can see, in that case I can see it. Here we don't need anything down here, so we'll just save it up, save it. Because there's, we don't need this. We have picked the important ones here, it's time to pick the top row. Though they are expensive, but it will be uh, fine when we have this one. And uh, get the, remove national speed Macedonian opposition. And we'll establish Croatia and immediately start trying to get rid of uh, Croatia and make them part of our nation again. 
kind of sad, I guess. And there's a reason for you not to do that and actually let them be a puppet. And you can do that if you want to. It's uh, It has both pros and cons. I'm going to make a video that's going to be uploaded in a couple of days. That's gonna, just going to be about me talking about puppeting versus annexing. What I feel like is uh, the pros and cons on it. And it's very much debat debatable subject. And in that video, I would really appreciate a comment on what you think. Why? What is strongest and why? And uh, that kind of stuff. If you like that topic is kind of important. I'm at 87. Yeah. We'll get this early. It will be time until this ends. This will be. Yeah. Let's get that. Let's pick that. And let's get up the limited conscription as next. Next, uh, next political power pick, I guess. Seems like a good option. It's time. We're our deficit is it's not. It's a even though it says it's 10k still. Oh, sorry for that. It's actually really, really soon. It's over because we're producing factories at a quite high rate. I feel like, and uh, the cap is closing up here. We have full everything. 25 a day is not a lot. You were aiming for around 50 to 80 a day uh, as a minor nation. That's that, and then. If you have that, it's really good. We'll get this mechanical computing. And let's get concessions for Macedonia. Because these claims, we're not going to, in, in terms of multiplayer, you're not going to be able to use these claims. Probably. I'm, I'm saying probably. If you can use these claims to declare a war early, I would recommend going down uh, Greater Yugoslavia and Yugoslavia Regiment instead of Macedonian opposition. Uh, at least if you pick this political power. If you did the national unity, you definitely need to get rid of a Macedonian opposition. But yeah, it's it's kind of important. It's because now, now in a quite a long while forward, we're just gonna pick this stuff here on top, and uh, this stuff will wait. Cause you really, there's nothing here that's good. There's this guy, the offensive guy. There's the logistics guy that's good, and that's it. But that's two guys, that's 300 political power. <laughs> so yeah, and we can, so you can pick up that super, super late. That's what I'm trying to uh, say. And uh, I just really, I guess, I'm just thinking here, we're getting 1.25. If we get here, we're just going to go down to one again. Maybe that's better than establishing Croatia as a puppet. Now that I'm thinking about it, I can see it being better. Yeah, crushing the Ustasta. Yeah, yeah. because we went down concession for, if you went down Grey Yugoslavia, maybe, no, 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 because you need this here. Huh. It's a really interesting choice, actually, because the puppet of Croatia is really good, because it tends to build a lot of units, and I can just, if I pump f factors into it, it will really just start to become a powerhouse, and it w I can, and that I can control. Maybe it is just a better idea to puppet it and not annex it again. Or maybe it's better to just control the area. Because the area is quite good. It's quite good land at least. Yeah, we'll pop it in. But uh, for this time. But I can really see this being better, okay? You gotta think that. If you think this is better, you should go down it. I'm gonna go down it to test. Because I'm not sure which is better. I've tried the other one. And I want to try this one as well. And I'll t try to come to a conclusion. Of which one is better? This factory is here. Cool, cool, cool. I'll we'll go down here. Now that we've done this one, because the invite German military is not necessary, and the joint axe is not necessary. Claim Macedonia is not necessary. And the claim Macedonia, it's only you gain a core on this one. Claim, I think. A core, maybe it is. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, it's not necessary, and this one is not necessary. So yeah, you you just gotta do this one sometime, yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'll pick this one up at some point. <laughs> not now, I can't be bothered. So I stuff to do. Pick up limited conscription. Come on. Damn, we got it. Okay, cool. This should finish up in 150 days or 100, 100 days or so, so we can get the partial mobilization, which is quite strong. 
uh, I guess. Come on, there's nothing happening. Or your traditions. Don't you do it. Okay, my bad. I thought uh, I thought Japan all in historical focus did world tradition after they done war with China. But we haven't done it, so maybe I don't have historical AI on or something is different. Yeah, probably. I don't have a historical AI on, but <laughs> most logical answer, I guess. E boy. God. It's like just the waiting game now. <laughs> Really don't like this slow part. Like uh, I don't know what to do. It's cool in multiplayer because uh, when you can just talk to people, it's not that big of a deal. Oh here, yeah, we just got these two, and it's a lot better than I thought. I thought we would get these two as well. I did think so. Okay, cool. So I now have a puppet. Doesn't have anything, and he sucks a lot. <laughs> So now, oh god, I produce at half the speed. I gotta start building stuff for him. I should actually start annex him and Yeah, it's probably better just to annex him. Okay, integrate. Wait, he's an integrated puppet. Yeah, I can annex him super quick. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so let's rush down for this research slot and... Uh, yes, manpower, we have men. Yep, we'll do this, but then, yeah, it was necessary. Well, yeah, but we'll just annex you again. <laughs> oh, actually, he's a quartermaster general. Interesting. It's interesting how they added these new things, captain of industry and such, to some guys. I don't know in what, how you, how we know, like, who's getting it and whatnot. Oh, well, some just seem to have it, I feel like. <laughs> and I don't know why. Oh, I got anti-tank. Okay, reconnaissance, we will need that in... Yeah, quite soon, because we want to add it, I guess. Okay, we'll produce a unit. This guy's good, good, good. Yeah, now our deficit is gone. Yeah, we don't need more factories, we'll start doing this. Actually, like that. Oh. And here we're going to do disperse... Mm, are we? Yeah, we're gonna do this first because we're only using infantry. If you're only using infantry like this and it's a two in it, I would, I think this is better than uh, integrated. But it's quite close, I feel like. A lot of people say that this burst is uh, a lot better than integrated, and I don't agree with that at 1 to 100%. But I can see why you think that. Because, like, uh, I just feel like this one is super good with support with support companies, 10 organization. And here, the 10 organization for support companies here. I like it. And I don't actually think this is that good line infantry reconnaissance. Recovery rate 0.2 and this is one I like though. 10% soft attack for line artillery. Oh well, enough of that. We're not here for land doctrine like debating. We're just here to show the focus choices I have made and ordering for Yugoslavia. It's one of the more difficult nations. Like Hungary is really straightforward. You just choose a side. <laughs> you like the fun side is going down in White Habsburg and you demand a referendum and that's it. <laughs> then you're that's all the choices you have. Then it's super easy. In Romania it's it's a lot of, it's no choices either, there's no choices, you just uh, go down, but you need to know where to go down, that's so very a bit difficult. I need to know where, like appoint axis friendly government and such, but you can just play a bit and you figure it out. And uh, the other nation, Sheko, super easy as well. <laughs> so yeah, this nation actually have a bit of depth into it, I feel like, depth. Get these free military factories. I could actually see you going down with three civilians here. Maybe I should have done that. Yeah, I should totally have done that. Probably. Because I have no civilians right now and I'm producing at shit speed. So, okay, that's not shit speed actually. <laughs> but it's quite bad. Well, we'll try and just annex him. Get back everything we've lost. Oh, that's super good of him. He's going down these factories. Oh, I like that. Hopefully it will pay off that I went down for this. This route. 
Maybe I should just switch because it's fun. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, okay. Let's let's just switch to fascist just because it's fun. Okay. Though it's not necessary, I guess. It depending on your rule set in multiplayer. Maybe it's necessary, huh, actually. And it's um, and we don't need to declare any wars. I guess. Get rid of radio. I feel like it's time. We don't. We have a time at least. Probably pick up uh, artillery designer next. I would like to pick up partial. Oh yeah, it's time to pick up partial next. Good, perfect. This gives so no, like seriously no uh, world tension <laughs> at all. And that was the Chinese border incident, or with China. Seems good. Yeah, here comes the event. <laughs> Super late. Come on, you have no troops, you have nothing, you have no men. It's the worst puppet I've ever had. <laughs> no troops, rip. Should probably, yeah, I'm, I'm after the research slot, I'll just pick up local militias, then I'll continue down and improve Serbian. Uh, Serbian is probably better in my case. Uh, yeah, I I really really prefer the improved Serbian over the integrated just because not not only because of it but you get the Serbian steel and the Serbian steel is really really strong. The other reason is the fact that the building slot is quite nice as well. Okay, let's trade for more steel. Sure. Did I lose any resources? No, there's no resources in Croatia. It's too bad for him. Now we'll add a couple more here. In Zagreb. Okay, um, what was I? Yeah, construction here, you're doing that. Getting that. Tears of deficit. We have really, really big here. We gotta do that. And here we gotta trade for this. And we gotta trade for even more here. This. Like this. Okay, now we're producing a jet speed again. Fuck. <laughs> Oh, well, we're producing equipment at least, <laughs> but we're not producing anything else. So I'll do that and add two here, add one here. Yeah. Because we're not going to get any factories in it anytime soon because we're just building in his land. But uh, how close are we to be able to add anything? We need, oh god, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> it's going down at least. Going the right way. Good. Wait, did you lay claim to my land? Fuck you. <laughs> oh well, I sh I'll just end the video here. It's really straightforward. What you do now, you go down this route here, the right side. You pick up local militias. You go down, pick up joint axis sometime. You can just. After that, you can probably go down here, army modernization, I guess. <laughs> Thing is just, uh, this stuff here is just so bad, <laughs> I checked it out, and this is the good stuff here, so that's why we just stick to it, so if you enjoyed the video, leave a like down below, tell me in the comments what you want to see next, and I'll see you guys in the next episode, bye.